Hey guys, Tom at DSC Sport here. In this video, we're going to talk about the Porsche FAL. FAL stands for Front Axle Lift. FAL is a nice option to have. You have this button here, which raises the front end of the car to prevent damaging the front spoiler for uh, tall speed bumps and for steep driveways. We have installed our DSC D3 controller on this 991 RS. This car does have FAL. Occasionally with the FAL cars, we do get a fault message on the dash, particularly on the lowering of the FAL. And the reason for this is once it is lowered, the uh, FAL has its own computer. Its computer is reading the ride height sensor out of sync with the DSC controller. When these two values are out of sync, it's usually only by one or two millimeters. That's enough to trigger the light. But uh, performance wise, this is completely unaffected, but the warning light is just an annoyance. And we're gonna show you how to fix that. Show here is knowing how difficult it is to get between these two carbon fiber bucket seats. We have installed a cable here, so this is going to be extremely useful when we are zeroing when we're zeroing the ride height sensors. So I have my laptop here ready to zero the ride height sensor. But the first thing we need to do is to make sure the car has been driven after the FAL has been in the down position because we don't want to zero the ride height sensor when it's still hung up by two or three millimeters because that defeats the purpose of this whole exercise. So what we did was we put the FAL down to make sure that it was completely deflated. We drove the car for about two miles. And then we have this car now parked on our alignment rack, which is as flat as you can possibly get. If you don't have an alignment rack, uh, you could do it in your home garage or uh, basically a flat surface on the parking lot. Just don't do it on the hill. Okay, once we confirm that this car is on a flat surface and the FAL is completely deflated, we're going to turn the ignition on. Turning the ignition on powers up the ride height sensor. So without power, the ride height sensor, would you can't zero them without power. This is our cable here. We're going to plug this in. And using the DSC Sport Tuner 1.9.3, 1 we'll open this up. Select vehicle, in this case, 9X1. We'll do a reset board just to make sure that we have communication. We do, good. Now we go to settings and look for the zero travel button right here. Yes. And okay. During the zeroing process, you will momentarily get a fault message on the dash. This is perfectly normal because the message is to indicate that the system is in service mode. So uh, the light is now gone. Zero travel has, is completed and we'll just do a reset for it again, just to make sure we didn't lose communication. That's it. Now uh, your ride height sensors between the DSC and the FAL are both synchronized. I just want to bring up a point here. If the ride height of the car has been lowered by say 10 or 15 millimeters, uh, it's a good idea to zero the ride height sensors because the modules on the car, including the ABS, the FAL, and the suspension control and traction control module does not know that someone lowered the ride height. So by zeroing the ride height gives all these modules a zero value for, for their functions.